Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, my name is Josh Snipes and today we're going to be doing another how to play an operator. Now before I jump in this series, I want to say thank you guys so much, I got to 1800 subs and how to play Pulse and how to play Hibana both just passed 10,000 views, that's absolutely insane. I'll leave a card for the playlist in the top right corner of this video. Anyways, to jump on in with the video, how to play an operator is a series I started and I plan to carry out with all of the operators. Also, if they get any big changes or nerves or buffs, I will make sure to remake the video with the updated information or I'll at least like leave a comment or annotation or something just so you guys know. Hibana got her Kairos nerfed and that was a connotation or comment I believe that I left inside the video. This series is how to play an operator within a team environment and how to play with a team and the role that you kind of will fill on that team. Now these views are subjective to what I've seen on Pro League, Challenger League, Go Fours, and how I play and how I've seen others play. So make sure you guys understand that this isn't the end all be all, but this is pretty much how I think that they should be played. Also, it will help you whether you're running in solo queuing or if you're running in a five stack. Now remember that different regions have different play styles and that personal players have their personal preferences. But overall, this is how I believe you should play the operator. Anyway, let's start off with how to play Buck. So Buck came with Operation Black Eyes paired with Frost, and that's the person that you're seeing here. Two speed, two armor operator, a very interesting take on an operator. Didn't have any sort of crazy technology or anything like that that you see in other operators, especially past Buck in the operations. But his shotgun rifle combo is pretty much one of the most useful gadgets, in my opinion that has been entered into the game. It makes him very versatile and pair that with the rest of his loadout. He's kind of a force to be reckoned with, but I really enjoy using Buck and I think he's a really good interchangeable person to use with Sledge, especially for that soft destruction. Cause you kind of have like Ash and Zofia who there is more of a projectile soft destruction. And then you kind of have Buck and Sledge who can do a lot of vertical play and different things like that without wasting too much of their gadgets that could be useful later on in the round. But pretty much what makes Buck Buck is his under barrel shotgun. There's not too much ammo in it, but it is very, very useful to open holes all of a sudden. And say if you use it on a wall instead of like the ceiling or the floor, you are able to put a hole that you can actually vault through and usually you can do it in one shot. Now there's really not too much to his gadget. I guess the last thing that I could talk about is that you can actually go below too. That's kind of what has made him a little bit better than Sledge is the ability to go below and be able to blow out floors, wooden floors. And it actually is pretty scary when all of a sudden the floor just starts getting shotgunned out. And especially because it does a lot of damage pretty close. So even if you're shot, say if you shotgun at the floor and you shotgun right under someone, Sometimes you can down them in the first shot usually take two to three shots though to kill someone from say a medium distance um, In shotgun range at least and before I hop into the loadout and actually talking about the loadout, I just want to say that he is a support player at his core He is made for taking out people inside rooms that someone else might not be able to get to especially with the frag grenades You can definitely do a lot as a support player with him so moving on to the loadout, you guys are going to see when you go in is that he actually has two different primaries to choose from. The one that you'll normally see is going to be the C8 SFW. That's going to be the assault rifle, the automatic weapon that you see me using in probably 100% of all these videos that you see of gameplay here. But he also has a DMR or a marksman rifle as they call it. And it's a CA MRS. Um, I don't really use his marksman rifle too much because I just don't have very good luck with any of the DMRs besides like black. Blackbeards, because they don't hold angles with Buck as much as I do Blackbeard, but I think that his DMR is definitely pretty good and it's a lot better than it was before, but I think if you have the choice between a C8 and the DMR, probably going to end up going with the C8 9 times out of 10, just because, let's say, if you need to spray someone down or you open the floor and you see someone, you don't want to keep going tut, 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 because it's, it's not going to be effective as much as a C8 might be and you might be able to spray someone down. Now, the ACOG is my preferred loadout that I use with it, but I also run a holographic or a reflex depending on which one I like more at the time. Um, but it just depends on how you want to play Buck. If you want to play Buck a little bit farther away, definitely go with the ACOG, but when you're using his gadget and stuff, it's a lot more useful to have the holographic and the reflex because it doesn't seem as zoomed in as maybe if you just had the ACOG on. So I would definitely play around with that, choose which one you like. I, normally I would just say ACOG on most operators, but I feel like his you can use either and you're totally fine. So his secondary that he's actually running is an MK1 9mm pistol. 
it's not good it's not bad i'd say it's probably towards the better part of the pistol like if you had to put all pistols on a list but i enjoy using his pistol a lot not too much kick and especially if i use frost and him you get used to his pistol pretty quickly his gadgets that he gets to choose from is the stun grenade and frag grenades if you're playing buck don't ever pick the stun grenades it's not even like a competition to use stun grenades versus frag grenades he is known for his frag grenades known for using his frag grenades and if you guys follow pro league BC, who used to be on Evil Geniuses, is known for his frag grenade play and just how well he played Buck. Um, so if you need someone in Pro League, go watch BC play. I think Toby or Jaeger himself, too, um, one of them just put up a video following BC. So definitely go check that out. Um, I'll leave it in the description down below. So for this first tip, it's not much of a tip, it's more of a demonstration kind of thing. It's kind of showing you how to use Buck. You just saw me gun that guy through by opening a hole and shooting him. Next, you're going to see me playing vertically by opening holes in the floor. I usually know that spots people will sit in on this map, especially on this site. They usually sit in certain corners, so you want to always kind of pre-buck or pre-fire those positions. That way, you can actually get someone who doesn't really expect it, and if you didn't drone yet, you'll be able to actually see it. But the whole use of playing him vertically is the ability for him to go under a site or above a site and pretty much be able to shoot out the entire floor so that there's nowhere safe to sit and so that your team can actually push into trophy or whatever the objective actually is. And you can see that I'm literally just running around, blowing out the floor. I definitely hear someone, but I'm trying to find him right now. But it's pretty, pretty hard to get away from Buck, especially as he's blowing the floor open. And you do damage, so sometimes you can down someone, say if they're at half HP or something like that. You can down someone with a simple buck, and you don't even need to do very much else. So you don't always need to buck out the entire floor, but you also need to realize that if you open a hole, that hole goes two ways. Just because you open it doesn't mean that you're the only one who can fire through it. You can have someone firing down on you, and you might only be able to see their head while they can see your entire body. So be kind of careful of that be vigilant of that and make sure you guys are careful when bucking also i would say if you're going to go below or above a site mostly below your eyes are going to be pointed up or pointed down at the ground you can't really see or do anything to your sides and you can't really see anyone that's coming from you from the side so make sure you are very vigilant when you're listening and listen to hear if anyone's coming down the hallway luckily on this site on trophy you only have one way in one way out for the defenders so i kind of knew that ahead of time so I made sure that I was listening and I tried to keep myself away from anyone trying to peek that hallway. Try to keep myself out of that doorway. I don't really need to peek that doorway to begin with because of sight and nothing's importance over there. So make sure you guys are very aware of your situation and what your surroundings are. Maybe just have a teammate watch you while you're bucking. Another tip that I want to bring to you guys is uh, something I saw on a clip from YouTube. I don't remember where I saw it, but if I end up finding it or someone comments down below where they saw it, um, it, I think it was a comp compilation video, but I don't remember exactly. I think it was a pro league match though that I saw this used. But basically, the whole thing is, is when you're playing as Buck, you want to throw your nade onto the ground and then buck the floor out as you throw the nade. So pretty much what will happen is, is you'll throw the grenade on, say, wooden floor, and then you buck it out so that it falls below. And so say if there's someone who's sitting there that you saw and you don't necessarily want to shoot out the floor first and kind of cook the grenade, you want to be able to get them kind of by surprise. It's a good way to get them by surprise, although I've never seen anyone do that until now, until I saw that clip. So... Hopefully, this will be a trick that one of you guys will get a kill off of, but I wouldn't expect to get a kill off of it way too often. But it's a good, like, surprise trick to have in your toolkit and kind of something to think of if you know someone's sitting in the corner. Now, unfortunately, I don't really have any more tips for Buck because I feel like Buck is pretty intuitive. Um, I don't think there's too much to him that I really need to go into depth about. I do think, though, that his gadget is very intuitive, but I think that it can be used incorrectly. And that's more so if you're using it to just kind of open holes across an entire ceiling or across an entire uh, floor because you can get shot and your other teammates can get shot if they're not expecting it. The best way to use them is open small holes, but open multiple small holes so there's nowhere safe to sit, but you're not necessarily taking away all of your cover when you're trying to aim. And that way, also, when you're playing defense, so say you're on defense, you're a defender, and you're holding anchor on site or something like that, 
make sure you're looking around look above you look below you is there wooden floors kind of think about where you normally play when you're playing buck think about where defenders will normally sit and try to buck those out you saw it when i showed the vertical play on chalet that i kind of had an idea that normally people sit behind the pillar in the middle of the room and then normally people sometimes will sit behind the bomb in the middle of trophy also so it's kind of i know where people will normally sit and i try to buck those out i don't even need to drone it but i'll buck those out especially if i hear something and it just makes things a lot easier anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching remember if you're playing buck you need to work with the team because i don't think that he can do a lot of it by himself but i do think that with his grenades his underbell shotgun and then not for not to forget that his ar is amazing he, he's pretty pretty well-rounded pretty self-sufficient for the most part you will need hard breachers unfortunately because he doesn't have any hard breaching capability but that's part of the balancing that they did with him also the grenades are really really useful if you're trying to get someone that's in a corner and don't forget i'm gonna leave toby's video down below in the description so make sure you go watch that why we miss bc he plays buck amazing absolutely amazing he's a fantastic buck player it's unfortunate that he's not playing on eg anymore but if you want to go watch more Buck gameplay and kind of learn from, I would say the best Buck, but you could argue that. But I would say one of the best Bucks out there. You go watch BC clips and go look up BC clips from BC. I think he does a really good job of playing Buck. Anyways, guys, this is going to be Josh Snipes signing right, off. Flash, flash. Nice. Op 4 eliminated. Friendly mission successful.